Now, did you know your spinal cord is as flexible as a garden hose? That's amazing, and so's this. In an ordinary town, an ordinary street, people walking about. There's nothing amazing about walking, Zand. Look closer, Chris. Wow, that guy is walking on his hands. Brilliant. Brilliant, yes, but is it amazing? Well, just wait and see, Chris. This is Charlie Wheeler, and he's got an incredibly bendy body. Which means he can do this, this, and even this. Charlie is a contortionist breakdancer, and he's so flexible he can make it look like there are no bones in his body at all. People don't really know if they should be impressed by it, if they should be disgusted by it. There's always that thing of, oh, I don't want to see it. Uh, kind of, they have to watch it. Ooh, we, we must, must watch. So how does Charlie do these incredible moves? Well, inside lots of Charlie's limbs, he has super stretchy ligaments. That's the soft tissue that holds all our bones together. It means that he can bend certain joints much further than most people. Charlie trains all day, every day, to make sure his ligaments are as bendy as possible. And he's just one of a handful of people in the world who can do this without inflicting a serious injury on themselves. Which is what would happen to me if I tried this, Charlie's most dangerous move, cartwheeling on his head. It's so hard that there are very few people who even attempt it, and it took Charlie years to master. Now that's amazing. Did you know you use 12 muscles to smile, 72 muscles to speak, and a whopping 300 muscles just to stand still. That's amazing, and so is this. This might look like a typical man wandering along a typical street. But don't be fooled, in fact, he's a 13-time world champion famous for his extraordinary face. OK, nice moustache. What's he doing to impress this bunch? That's amazing, <laughs> truly amazing. <laughs> Wondering what's causing all the commotion? Well, take a look at this. Ah, he's an alien! No, Zand, this is Tommy Mattinson, and he's the world gurning champion, which means he can contort his face into the most amazing expressions. Gurning's based on transformation, so it's basically how you look and to what you turn into. It's impressive, he's an ugly man, though. I've never seen a face like that before. <laughs> that was just incredible. But how does Tommy's unusual face do this? Behind the skin, there's around 40 facial muscles. By stretching and contracting them, it's possible to make more than 4,000 different expressions. Over years of practice, Tommy has built up his muscles so much that he can move his facial features much further than most people, creating some truly incredible expressions. And Tommy can turn himself into a werewolf. It would be quite scared if people are, uh, you know, can take taken about with that, which, which the Queen was when uh, she saw that first. Her Majesty the Queen was taken aback. Now that's amazing. <laughs> now, did you know that you lose about 90 hairs every single day? But luckily, you've got between 90 and 140,000 hairs on your head, so you can afford to lose a few. Wow, that's amazing. And so is this an ordinary country lane. And an ordinary car. Looks like this guy's having a bit of engine trouble. Poor chap, he's gonna need a push. Well, luckily, this lady is around to help. You look like you need a hand. She's going to push that car? That is amazing, Chris. It's a massive 4 by 4 It's way more amazing than that, Zand. Check this out. This is Anastasia, and her hair is so strong, she can, yes, even pull a car with it. Crazy, I know. Anastasia holds the world record for hanging weight from her hair, a hair raising 53.4 kilograms. That's the equivalent of two average seven-year-olds hanging directly from her hair. So how does she do it? Well, human hair contains keratin. It's an incredibly strong protein. So tough, in fact, it's the same thing a rhinoceros horn is made of. And 
Anastasia has learned to use the strength of her hair to pull massive cars like this. And it takes a lot of preparation. It takes 45 minutes. It takes two guys to plait the hair like a rope. Turning her hair into a rope ensures the weight of the car is evenly distributed across her head so that no hair is pulled out. But hair pulling is still an uncomfortable experience, so Anastasia has trained herself to cope with the pain. I can think of better ways of dealing with pain. Yeah, like when you eat a cold ice cream and you get a brain freeze. Uh, not exactly, Zand. She's got a real skill. Now that's amazing. <laughs> now, did you know that you lose about 90 hairs every single day? But luckily, you've got between 90 and 140,000 hairs on your head, so you can afford to lose a few. Wow, that's amazing. And so is this. An ordinary country lane. And an ordinary car. Looks like this guy's having a bit of engine trouble. Poor chap, he's going to need a push. Well, luckily, this lady is around to help. You look like you need a hand. She's going to push that car? That is amazing, Chris. It's a massive 4x4. Four four. It's way more amazing than that, Zand. Check this out. This is Anastasia, and her hair is so strong, she can, yes, even pull a car with it. Crazy, I know. Anastasia holds the world record for hanging weight from her hair, a hair raising 53.4 kilograms. That's the equivalent of two average seven-year-olds hanging directly from her hair. So how does she do it? Well, human hair contains keratin. It's an incredibly strong protein. So tough, in fact, it's the same thing a rhinoceros horn is made of. Anastasia has learned to use the strength of her hair to pull massive cars like this. And it takes a lot of preparation. It takes 45 minutes. It takes two guys to plait the hair like a rope. Turning her hair into a rope ensures the weight of the car is evenly distributed across her head so that no hair is pulled out. But hair pulling is still an uncomfortable experience, so Anastasia has trained herself to cope with the pain. I can think of better ways of dealing with pain. Yeah, like when you eat a cold ice cream and you get a brain freeze. Uh, not exactly, Zand. She's got a real skill. Now that's amazing. Now, did you know that the average human head weighs as much as a watermelon? That's amazing, and so's this. OK, Zand, I've got something for you. Can you guess what makes this man amazing? Wow, he doesn't look happy. Is he the angriest man in the world? No. He's not on the toilet, is he? No. This is John Evans. He's a world record-holding head balancer. He's balanced a washing machine in a fridge, a car, and even Doctor Who's TARDIS on his head. What's he going to balance for us? 20 tubs on a large metal frame. Whoa! I think that's amazing. It is, Zon, and here's why. He's carrying on his head the weight equivalent of 20 bags of sugar or 500 lemons for one seven-year-old boy. Go on. John's held more than 40 world records for balancing all sorts of things on his head. And when it comes to competitions, he really gives it everything he's got. Oh, I've done tremendous things. Two girls on bicycles, 98 milk crates all in one time, 548 footballs. So how does John's amazing body do this? Well, the secret is his massive and powerful neck. Whereas your average man's neck is 40 centimetres around, John's comes in at a whopping 54. That's the size of Selena Gomez's waist and nearly twice as big as your neck. Wow, that's big. But the real power, though, comes from the muscles inside. There are five major muscles in the neck, but the heavyweights are the trapezius muscles at the back. I do have the strongest neck in the world. It's as solid as concrete. OK, I'm sold. That's amazing! <laughs> Did you know that the bones in your body aren't white at all? They're actually beige. They only become white if they're cleaned and boiled. That's amazing. And so is this. An ordinary boxing club. 
with ordinary people working out. This man's hard at it. Is he a boxer? No, Zond. Is he a wrestler? He certainly is. Ooh, he looks very angry. Hang on a minute. Why is he sitting down? He's getting ready to rumble! Meet Alan Nasty Nash, and he's the world champion toe wrestler. It's just like arm wrestling, but with your toes. You have to lock toes and then push your opponent's foot to the side. Alan's so good at it, he's won the world title eight times. Do you have to pull that face when you're toe wrestling? What an amazing feat! How does he do it? Alan's mighty moves aren't just down to his twinkling toes. His strength comes from his legs. Alan trains at the gym three times a week to build up the massive muscles. Grr, there's that mean face again. Power is then transferred into Alan's short, stumpy toes. Hey! Through his massive flexor hallucis longus, that's the big toe muscle to you and me, which runs from his calf, down his ankle, and into the big toe. With all that power, Alan's toes take a real battering in matches. Over the years, he's broken nine of them. It's a dangerous sport, so best not try it yourself. I've had an injury that was so bad, I had to have the toe taken off, the bone ground down, and then the toe put back on again. What? I had to have the toe taken off, the bone ground down, and then the toe put back on again. That's what I thought he said. Loser! That's amazing. Ouch. Now, did you know your collarbone is the last bone to stop growing when you become an adult? It's called your clavicle, and it'll stop growing when you're about 25. That's amazing, and so's this. Lunchtime in an ordinary street, in an ordinary town. But in this town lives an extraordinary person. This man's name is Neil. Can you guess why he's amazing? Does he have the loudest yodel in England? Nope. Have a look at him. Well, maybe with other people. You see? Neil's the tallest man in the UK. He's 232.6 centimetres tall. That's half a metre taller than your average British man. He wears size 15 shoes and he weighs 159 kilos. Being tall makes Neil very popular. Look at all these people. See how happy they are. Even the traffic wardens want to be his friend. No parking tickets for Neil. You know, my brother's six foot nine, my sister's six foot three. Um, you know, my grandfather back in the old days was, you know, six foot seven. So it runs in the family. Hang on, these window cleaners need some help. I'm just naturally tall. The top of that window has never been so clean, and he didn't even break a sweat. Oh, mind your head. Neil is unique. But as you grow, it's the bones in your legs that will make the most difference to your height as an adult. They will grow at each end, and your individual DNA will tell them how long to grow. It's nice to be different, and if you use your differences to be an advantage, the sky's the limit. And Neil should know, he's a lot nearer the sky than we are. Now that's a... Ouch. Now, did you know there are 100,000 miles of blood vessels in your brain? That's enough to go around the Earth four times. Wow, that's amazing. And so's this. In an ordinary city, high above the streets, lies a deserted urban playground awaiting a prime performance. Ready to see some serious skills? This is John Farnworth, and he's a football freestyling genius. He holds five world records and can do 107 shin keepy uppies in a minute. His specialities also include toe keepy uppies, round the world, the side to side on head, and heel keepy uppies. This keepy uppy king trains for more than 40 hours a week and he's completed the London Marathon whilst keeping the ball in the air. So how does John's amazing body do this? Believe it or not, the secret to John's success lies in his brain. Certain tricks are harder than others, but they all require a lot of concentration to do. When it comes to the brain, up front is the big lad, the cerebrum. That's what allows you to think, make decisions and learn. The cerebrum houses the motor cortex. It's the midfield maestro pulling all the strings, telling our muscles to move when we want them to. Playing at the back, there's the cerebellum, 
crucial for balance and coordination. It's the big match player with a vital role in everything you're seeing right now. Now that's amazing. Can we have our ball back, please, mister? Ouch. Now, did you know there are up to 400 joints in your body? They sit between your bones, and without them, you'd only be able to move your eyebrows and your tongue. That's amazing. And so's this. An ordinary warehouse full of boxes. I can see that, Chris. And this is a clear plastic box. Again, I can see that. But what's it doing here? And who's this? You'll see. She's hiding an amazing body skill. She's very bendy. She is indeed. And you're about to find out what she can do. Now, you'll notice she's a lot bigger than that box. Ooh. Is she gonna... No, she's not, is she? Yes, she is. This is Delia Dussol, and she's a contortionist, a professional acrobatic performer who's trained herself to fit into unbelievably small spaces. So how does Delia's amazing body do this? Well, inside Delia's limbs, she has super stretchy ligaments. That's the soft tissue that holds our bones together. Although she was born this way, Delia trains hard every day to make sure her ligaments remain flexible. But this isn't something to try at home. It's fine to practice um, flexible moves at home, but um, I wouldn't recommend squeezing yourself into small spaces. That's because if you get it wrong, you can get stuck and seriously injure yourself. In fact, there are very few people in the world able to bend their bodies this way, and it takes years of training and practice to achieve a body skill like this. Now that's amazing. 